Have you seen this new Facebook update? Feed channels for Facebook groups. It's so awesome. And today in this video, I'm going to show you what it is, how to set it up, and then ideas of what you can use it for. If you don't know me well, my name is Steph Parisi, and I love helping small business owners grow their influence and profits online using marketing strategies that actually work. And I'm also the leader of the Parisi Pack. Now, if you're like, what is a feed channel? Well, it's like a mini subgroup within your group, okay? So on Facebook, you have different feeds that you can look at, right? Pages feeds, groups feeds, your specific favorited feeds. Feed channel is just a specific channel within your group already. So it's a really cool tool and you can use it so many different ways, including what about members who are located in your group in a certain region and you wanna connect them? maybe for an in-person networking group, or you can dive into specific group interests to really foster conversations around specific topics that maybe not everyone in the group is interested in. And so just the people who want to be a part of it can join the feed. You can also use it to easily support your group needs, okay? So think the different admins or people that are helping manage that group, well, they can join together and use a private feed channel to communicate about the group and it keeps it within the group. So awesome and helpful. It could also be an educational type of thing where you have specific coursework or challenges that you're hosting that you use a feed channel to communicate those in. There are so many different ideas of ways you can use it. And as you watch me set up a feed channel, you'll probably get some other ideas too. Let's jump into the tutorial now. Okay, so we are going to open up Facebook and then here at the bottom, go to your groups tab. And then I am going to go to the Parisi pack, which is my membership group. In the upper left hand corner, if you click the hamburger menu, you're gonna see this pop up. And you can see here that I can create a feed channel, the blue button at the bottom. And Facebook is giving you some different ideas. Okay, now, if you go to your group and you click that hamburger menu and you do not see the option for feed channels that group doesn't have it yet so for example my create stories that sell free facebook group doesn't have it yet if you're not in this group i highly encourage you to join i give away lots of helpful marketing tips so let's pop back over to the Parisi pack hit this hamburger menu and create a feed channel Okay, and now you're gonna name your channel. Okay, so it could be based on the topic or the purpose that it's going to serve. For this, I'm just going to type example. Next, you can choose the privacy. Okay, so by clicking that arrow, you can choose it to be open so anyone who is in the group can see the feed channel and what's posted in it. Or you can close it and make it private so just certain people can see what's inside of it. I'm gonna click open. Then you are going to describe your feed channel so people know what it's about. And then you can upload a cover photo for the feed channel. Again, remember this is a subgroup of your group. If you click upload a photo, it's going to give you access to your camera roll and then also Facebook pictures that you've uploaded, okay? If we click the more button on the camera roll, then you can click to go to different albums that you have. So I am just going to go to where I have my Parisi pack cover photo. It says your photo has been uploaded and we are good to go. It also gives you options of cover photos, but I highly recommend branding yourself and using your own. If you don't know what it means to brand yourself, check out this video. We're going to hit the create button and then you're going to see this screen pop up and it's giving you some more information about the feed channel that all the members have access because it's open. Group members will receive updates which they can control, okay, so they can mute the channel if they want and then you can select settings for your channel as well. So you're going to click the done button and then here you can see your feed channel. Now Facebook is encouraging you to introduce yourself with the post that you can then pin that to the featured section of your Facebook group and then you can also customize things. So let's introduce ourselves. So let's click this plus sign, okay? And it's gonna say intra post. Now, like you can make it however you want. Let's just do this for the sake of it and then click post. And then you're gonna see this pop up right away in the group 
Okay, so there you have it. Now let's go over how to control some notifications and settings in your specific open feed channel in your group. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see the three dots, the bell, and then the shield. The bell is, if we click it, you're going to see it's about notifications. So here, members can mute the channel if they want. Okay, so it says you've muted this channel or you can be more specific and say, do you want to see all the posts, just friends posts, highlights, that sort of thing by toggling here. Okay, um, and then if you slide that over, then it again means you've muted it. So that is one way to get to notifications. The other way that you can do that is if you click the three dots. Here you're going to see some other options. So. The second one down again is the bell to edit notification settings. That's going to pop the same thing up. Okay. At the top, you can see managing the content. You can see the posts that have been um, put up. Okay. Or if anything has been removed because you're in charge of the feed channel. Again, you can go to the main group of the Parisi pack. Okay. The other thing that we can do is if you click those three dots you can edit the feed channel and here you can go back and edit the name the description the cover photo okay so if you didn't do that right away you can do that now and then you can view the members in it this is going to show everyone in this group because it is an open channel okay if it's a private channel it would be more restricted and then you can invite people again if it's a private channel or you could delete the channel as well if you click on the shield button, that's going to give you, here you can see more your admin assist type activities and your settings when it comes to you being the admin of this feed channel. I would love to know what you think you're going to use your feed channel for. Again, do you think you'll use it for an interest, something more location based, or will you use it for people who help moderate your Facebook group? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to connect with you. Also, if you need help with Facebook groups, check out these videos that are popping up. Everything Facebook groups goes over marketing tips. I have a tutorial on how to organize your group using guides and the best membership questions to ask people who want to join your Facebook group. Super cool, right? Let me know in the comments what your feed channel is going to be for your group and if you have this new feature yet. If you don't, hang tight. It's coming. Also, pop on over to stephaniepreci.com so you can grab some more free marketing tools and find the link to join my free Facebook group, Create Stories That Sell. And you can also find out information about the Parisi pack there too. In the meanwhile, check out either of these two videos that are popping up on the screen. They're here to help you win in your business. And I'll be back next week with another new video.